Hey, good morning guys. Johnny with Blades of Grass Salon Care. Welcome to the channel. So, today, what I'm going to do is just, you know, take you along with me. I'm going to install a sprayer rack on my rig. And guys, if you haven't seen, uh, you know, my setup, uh, I have videos in my video library. So, please take the time and, and check out the video library, guys. I have a ton of of all kind of videos guys that'll help you with your business and you know it's just all about lawn care okay so i'm going to install my sprayer rack uh because guys let me tell you i use my sprayer a lot and i hate to put it inside a cab of the vehicle guys so my my goal right now is to is to get the the, the back seat kind of minimize <laughs> what I have in the back seat because I hate clutter. I'm telling you right now, I hate clutter. So the goal is to clean up things and utilize the space that I have in my vehicle. Now, some of you guys may say, man, that vehicle uh, 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 is it's not, you know, it doesn't work for me. Where do you put the debris? Uh, when the customer need clean up blah, blah 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 remember guys one thing that I will tell you is that we all have different circumstances we all have different business uh, models and hopefully you have a business model um, that you're going by um, but we do not take away debris guys the city comes by and pick up all the debris especially where I work I have a targeted area so for you to have someone pay to take away the debris it doesn't work for my business it doesn't matter how much debris they have the, the county will pick it up for free so uh back in the days i used to have you know a trailer just for debris and all that good stuff it just sat there matter of fact it sat there for a whole year and if your equipment is sitting guys that means that you don't need it right so that's that on that <laughs> but uh yeah, so my goal is to install this rack right here. And then my edge trimmer, my handheld, is gonna be with this rack. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna install that here on the inside because I have, as you can tell, I already uh, drilled the hole. But I'm gonna put it right here because this is wasted space and I don't have another way to install this uh, where it can be on the outside and be accessible, you know? So, yeah, I'm gonna put it right there on the inside, I already measured it. And, and for you guys that are wondering, I have a 48 inch that fits right there, okay? With about this much room, so, uh, I can put a 52 that will be hanging right here, but in my line of business, for what I do, a 48 is the best mower. I get 97.5% of my properties done with a 48 inch. And if I was to use a 52, then I'm looking at probably 75%, okay? So, yes, so it works for me. Again, different business model. So it fits right there. And this is wasted space right here. And it is wasted space right here. So therefore, I'm gonna put the uh, head trimmer rack right here and the sprayer rack right there. And I should be complete. Now, remember guys, you install and buy equipment that you utilize all the time, okay? I always utilize these pieces of equipment. I use, utilize them on a weekly basis. So therefore I have to have them accessible. And I, like I said before, I don't want to put it inside a cab of the vehicle. I don't like a, a clutter uh, vehicle. All right. So hope this makes sense to you. Let me know what you're thinking. Guys, if this is your first time on my channel, like, subscribe, follow. Um, check out my Instagram as well. Um, check out my 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 what i have i have a tiktok and i have a, a threads and i'm on all social media I also i have a facebook you know i just started my facebook guys so i only have like 
I think 200 people follow me on Facebook. <laughs> but hey, we all got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this installation. And again, I'm going to try to condense it as much as possible just to show you guys how I'm installing. Now, one thing that I will say, equipment defender racks is what I use, guys. Okay? And I've been using equipment defender for over 10 years. And guys, this is what I will tell you about Equipment Defender compared to any other of the other racks, guys. Never had an issue. My racks are they're, they're the cheapest and to me, the more, the most, um, the most effective racks, okay? They are freaking heavy. They are constructed with high quality materials. Um, and they work for me. I don't have any issues. And I like black. Black matches with everything. Any other color, why should I have something that just say, hey, look at me, you know, neon colors. Hint, hint. <laughs> Not me. But I use code BLADES10 on the equipmentdefender.com uh, and you get 10% off. And guys, compare prices. Compare prices, I'm tell you. Listen, I've been doing this for 13 years and this is all I've had. I'm not gonna steer you wrong, okay? All right, so enough of my talking. Let's get into installing uh, this one and that one. Uh, yeah, let's get hot. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is install this rack right here. gonna go again I'm trying to do this one-handed so it's gonna go right here and as you guys can see the holes are already pre-drilled so I'm gonna install it right here okay and guys I hope it's that it's not too uh because it's windy out here but if it's too windy I'll have to do a voiceover but uh, when you buy these racks from Equipment Defender, uh, they give you the hardware to install them on your uh, open trailer and your enclosed trailer as well. So you don't have to worry about, okay, you know, this is for the open trailer, this is for the uh, enclosed trailers. All right, so let's get to uh, fastening this stuff. All right, so. There it is. And uh. Okay, so Goes like this. And it locks into place. You see?
Come on, guys. <laughs> After everything, this is it. This is what it looks like. <laughs> yep. So, a um, lot of things that I need to kind of bring you up to speed with. This is where you lock it. So, dang, one hand. This is how you open it. And you take your equipment out and then you lock it. Lock your keys, turn it. And you can open it. You can pull it through here because you have this slip right here that holds it holds the whole thing in this you can bring it tighter inward i just have it like this right now this is adjustable as well the height is adjustable everything on this rack is adjustable okay so there it is and it comes with a little wand holder but this ballard uh sprayer again everything guys go to all these sites blades 10 is your is your uh, discount code on Ballard and Equipment Defender as well, and you lock it in, and and you're good to go. So this is it. So now I have my head trimmer. Everything is good to go, guys. Now this is where I carry my selective herbicide and that is where i carry my non-selector okay so this kills every doggone thing grass weeds everything and this is only designed for specific weeds or weeds that's it okay so there you go guys <laughs> Woo! looking good looking good yep nothing else should be on there and put my 48 in there and my 21 which I seldom use but why not take it with me so that's it guys let me know what you think all right so one question that I get a lot is do I leave all my equipment on my rig and the answer is no guys <laughs> out of sight out of mind right no no way in heck i don't leave that stuff on there no but i do have covers uh you know if i want to keep it out the elements or whatever the case might be and you can find all of those as well on batteredinc.com all right guys thank you for taking the time to watch my videos have a blessed one follow share subscribe all of that good stuff see you on the next one if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Pop smoke. Peace.